Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic uh, PDF in PHP. So in my last video, I have shown you how to create a static PDF. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic PDF from HTML forms. So I have a simple form here. It's just a HTML form. And as soon as I click register, a dynamic PDF is generated using the data entered in form. So, so this is the example which I'm going to show you today. It's not an advanced tutorial, just a basic tutorial. But uh, once you understand this basic tutorial, you can uh, clearly go through advanced tech, advanced forms. Um, so, so before going any further, uh, download uh, FPDF library from fpdf.org website, and uh, click on this downloads and uh, download the latest version available at the time. So at this moment, I have 1.7 version, and uh, if you have any further version, uh, download that one. So once you download it, uh, you will get a zip file like this, and extract all the files to your working directory so right now i'm working in my uh, demo directory and in that i have extracted that uh, library fpdf library and i'm going to rename to fpdf so uh, you can rename to whatever you want but uh, fpdf is comfortable for me uh, i'm going to create a basic html form now so here i have html form so this is just a basic one nothing uh, new i'm going to save in my demo directory so I'm going to call it as index.html. So this uh, this is just a basic HTML page, guys. Um, so I'm going to reload my page now. So as I told you before, I'm working in my uh, demo directory. Uh, D. So this is my HTML page. Now I'm going to create a PHP page, uh, which we're going to work on today. So uh, just create a PHP page and then save it in your directory. So I'm going to call it as form.php. You can pretty much call it whatever you want. Uh, it's not necessary to be form.php. And then, so first of all, I'm going to import my library which I have downloaded right now. So here, if you notice, uh, FPDF is my directory file. So I'm going to import that uh, file right here before going any further. And then, so so the thing is guys you have to down, uh, import that fpdf.php uh, file which i have shown you before here you, you can notice the fpdf.php file so this is the file which you have to download so this file is located in my fpdf uh, folder so i'm going to call it as fpdf directory and then i'm accessing fpdf.php file so this is my directory structure to the fpdf.php so if you have saved it somewhere else uh, in your uh, server you can you have to specify the absolute path right here so and then the next thing is i'm, on, I'm going to create an object for fpdf class so it's going to be new fpdf so that's in i have created an object for that so so the next thing is you have to add pages right now i just created a object and uh, you don't have any pages in your pdf so i'm going to add a page right very quickly it should be add page so and and the final thing is you have to uh, say send it to the browser uh, by specifying output and if you want you can uh, like you can save it to your directory but I'm directly displaying it in the browser so that it's, it can be easy for us so so this is three lines are very simple guys first of all you want to create an object and then you're going to add paste to your PDF and then finally you are uh, sending it to your browser so that's that, that's just three lines so I'm quickly going to click on this register uh, if you notice in my HTML page right here um, so I have specified a post address link to this HTML form.php. So if you notice, a form action is equal to form.php with post method. So as soon as I click on this uh, register page, register button right here is going to execute form.php. So I'm going to click on this one. So that's it. We have a empty PDF. That's because we haven't added any content right here. We have just added a single add page. So the next thing is I'm going to uh, like I'm going to add some content right here. The content is something should be generated dynamically. Like uh, so, whatever the things we have here in this form, it should be generated dynamically. So first of all, I'm going to access those fields here. So I'm going to copy something right here. So this is just a basic PHP stuff. So I don't want to waste my time by typing all this stuff, right? So this is my first name field so if you notice here my first name all name is first name and then last name and then I also have uh, 
gender date of birth and etc so just a simple thing i have uh, extracted all the data from html to php so now that we have all the variables right here then the only thing is we have to add all this content to our pdf file so I i'm going to show you one uh, function so that's called cell function in pdf library so this cell function uh, it's like a print up or echo statement which adds content to the pdf so the first thing is you have to specify height uh, sorry width and then height of your content which you're going to specify so and then next thing is content so what are the content you want to display in pdf file so so i have specified all these things in my first video so if you have time to know the basics you can just go to my previous video and then uh the next thing is you have to specify the border whether you have to specify border or not but for now i'm going to add any border so i'm going to specify it as zero so the next thing is what should be the next line like uh, if you want your next line to be in a new line you can specify as one or else if you want to append next data to this current line you can just specify zero and then the next element is like um, alignment whether it's, it should be center or left or right i'm going to specify c which sp which stands for center and so before doing uh, so before dumping the data i would like to add another function which is called font so which is it, it is actually set font so the first thing is what is the type of font like arial times new roman or whatever you want and then the next thing is like uh weight uh, it should be bold or italic or underline something and then b for bold i for italic and then u for underline and then the next thing is font uh i mean like font size uh, so i'm specifying 16 if you if you want to increase or decrease you can um increase or decrease so so thus i have added two functions right here the first one is set font and the next thing is uh like a uh, dumping to the pdf file so i'm going to check my pdf file so so if you notice here we have a little bit welcome message right here so that's the content we have specified in this um, cell option so as i told you this 10 and 10 represent height and width you will understand clearly if i specify border here so i'm going to add border see you can notice a small border right here <coughs> <coughs> sorry so i'm going to increase my uh, width and then height so I'm going to specify to default and then I'm going to add to that's enough for height see that's simple right now the width is increased and then height is on uh, 10 so that's pretty clear right now so we have center orientation so but the thing is we want to generate a uh, dynamic content so that's the main purpose of this tutorial we have to generate dynamic content so I'm going to add on the first name here so i have first name variable right here which is extracted from my html form so i'm going to add html variable here i mean php variable right here so i'm going to see what happened it should execute welcome raman Shneyasa. so that's it the the the, the name raman Shneyasa. so you may, you may don't understand that name but don't worry so that's the name i have entered in my uh back pdf form so if you notice here this is my first name and I click on this reshare button it says welcome Ramos Day. so that's what I mean dynamic content so the next thing is I want to add further more variables like all these variables second name last name and etc so I'm going to create a table structure here so first I'm going to add a table header value like so, can't, so I'm specifying a width as 50 and then height as 10 so I'm gonna call it as name because the first should be name and then so as I told you, this set next option should be uh, like uh, border, whether the border should be active or not. So I'm activating my border right here, and then the next thing should be like the next element structure, whether it should be appended or to be like should to be shown in a new line. So I'm going to specify zero, which should be appended, and then it's not necessary to give alignment. It should it will take default as left. Um, so this is my structure and as I told you I have up so I specified zero which means appending so I don't want to do that I want to create um, the next element in new line so I have specified one year so I'm going to refresh this thing 
so that's it so we have a little bit name element here which we have specified right now and then at the same time I'm going to add another element so which stands for last name so last name so that's pretty simple right so 1 and 0 so that's all about oh we have done something wrong right here so it should be l name not a uh, last name so I'm sorry that's my bad see that's pretty simple right oh welcome Ramans Naya name and uh, my last name so so this is the basic structure guys uh, so you can add how many variables you want uh, but I think I have uh, date of birth male gender uh, phone number so I'm going to quickly add all these ten things one for gender and another for email and another for phone number so that's pretty simple right so gender and then one for mobile and another for email so this is pretty simple tutorial guys you don't need to uh, learn any advanced technologies and then mobile anyway so that's it so now I'm gonna check I hope there are no errors right here I'm gonna refresh my thing so if you notice here uh, every content is appended to the previous one so I don't want to do that what I want is I want to create um, this thing in a new line so so I'm going to add one here instead of appending the data I'm going to add one uh, so when I when I specify one here which means the next line the next line the next cell element should be created in new element so that's the purpose why I'm specifying one here so I'm going to check my status now it should be email alright so I think we forgot to add one right here so everything is simple now uh, my name my gender and then mobile and email so if you notice here uh, the width is not the width is not adjusted properly so I'm going to quickly change uh, 60 here for email see but uh, still it's not it's not um, I mean like it's not awesome so I'm gonna change mm, everything to 60 so instead of displaying one element in an advanced manner so oops it should be 50 for header so this is guy this is a simple dynamic uh, tutorial I'm going to demonstrate you again the entire thing so first name or uh, anything second name anything mail date can anything and mobile number something so i'm going to click on list right now so this is it so this is a dynamic pdf content so this is my first name this is my last name mail gender so this is it guys so i hope you understand everything perfectly so if you have any doubts you can just comment down in comment section i will try to reply as soon as possible so thanks for viewing don't forget to subscribe us